Hey everyone, welcome to PC Perspective. I'm Ryan Shrout. Today is an interesting day at the office. We got this um, this thing in the mail from Intel. Uh, it is some kind of chamber. It uh, is kind of interesting. It's on stands. It's got feet. Uh, but maybe more interesting is that it had this power cord with it, and there's a place to plug it in in the back. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna do that. And it uh, looks like the bottom of it lit up. And then my instructions say if I just turn this little chamber at the top, it will uh, take care of itself. So let's go ahead and um, see how this goes. Okay, things are lighting up. Uh, you think that's a countdown? Maybe it's a count up. I don't know. We'll see. Sounds like a success to me. A little bit of a motor noise going. Oh. <laughs> uh, revealing a tower of some sort inside with, uh, it's like a box with an Intel logo on it. And um, there's some light emanating from the top as well. <laughs> Very interesting. Oh. An SSD box. Ta-da! This, this is all in presentation of uh, a new Intel platform, it appears. So we'll take out our, our first item out of the tower. And uh, it's just an Intel box. Look inside. I think I'll do that. And uh, inside we have a Core i7-5960X processor. This is the new Haswell E 8-core uh, 16 thread processor. We actually posted a review of this over at PCPro.com and we have a video of it as well on our YouTube channel. Uh, so this is the, the new enthusiast platform, Socket 2011 from Intel on that. And then this other item in here is an Intel 730 series SSD. 240 gig capacity on this. Let's go ahead. I know Alan has actually tested and reviewed the SSD 730 series as well. You can check out that review on PCPer.com as well. I like things that have a uh, little seal resistant or tamper resistant bags. You can see here we've got our Intel Skull Trail logo SSD right there. Uh, 240 gigs. This is uh, one of, if not the fastest SSD that we have tested thus far and uh, would be uh, an awesome pairing with that 5960X. So. Let's see what else we got in the box. SATA cable and uh, a Speed Demon sticker if you feel the need to place this on uh, your machine in some way. Uh, so we've got that SSD. And then not included in the containment chamber, if you will, uh, were a couple of other components that they sent along. Crucial sent, uh, Intel sent with, from Crucial, four modules, four DDR4, uh, 2133, memory we got let's see here we go here's a couple of those dim so it's ddr4 memory running at 2.133 gigahertz these are four gigabyte dims so we have a total of four here for a total of 16 gigabytes of memory to go along with our uh, processor uh, you can see those here as well so 16 gigs of memory an eight core processor and a 240 gig ssd not a bad way to start a new system. And then also came the Asus X99 Deluxe. Now, Mori has a review of this motherboard as well on PCPro.com. And this is the motherboard we actually used in our initial processor testing and benchmarking. And this motherboard has a lot of really cool features to take a look at, uh, just even on, on its own, right? So we'll take it out of the package real quick. I try to eliminate the noise of the static bag. I, uh, we're getting a little bit of the blue reflection off of our containment chamber here, but I love the uh, black and white design that they have done here. Uh, you've got five full-length PCI Express slots. Uh, you can support three-way SLI, three-way crossfire. You've got two SATA, eSATA connections here, 10 total SATA ports on the board. Actually, take that back, 12 total SATA ports on that motherboard. You've got eight DIMM slots, so we've got room for the four four gigabyte modules that we have from Crucial, plus we can add in 
for more if we want to down the road. And of course, we've got our LGA 2011 processor socket right there for that 5960X CPU. This is a awesome platform for a system. Look at that, 10 USB 3.0 ports on there, two gigabit ethernet ports. Uh, you've got Wi-Fi connections, analog and digital audio, a lot of good stuff on this board. This is the X99 Deluxe. Let me set that to the side for just a second. There's some other cool things that come with this board as well. And again, if you want to check out Maury's review for more detailed uh, diving into it, you've got the antenna here for the wireless that, uh, let's see, it twists to set on top of your desk or something, if you want to do that. You've got, I think, one of the best implementations of a three-way SLI bridge because it gives you some flexibility on where you can install the cards. I think this might be the first time I've seen a flexible three-way SLI bridge. So if you've got cards that are close together, you can push them together. If you've got cards that are further apart, you can use that. So that's uh, part of the bundle as well. Um, this is a neat little add-on. This is for installing M.2 SSDs. So if you've got, if you notice on the motherboard, let me bring this back over here. Right here on this side, you have an M.2 by 4 PCI Express connection for uh, you know, M.2 SSDs, and this supports mounting them like this vertically so that you can still have that. Even if you have three-way graphics going from AMD or NVIDIA, you can still have an M.2 SSD installed and mounted securely on this board. It's actually a really, really cool addition there. Uh, if you have free PCI Express slots and you want to mount your M.2 SSD that way, they actually include this card as well. This is the Hyper M2, M.2 by 4 and it literally, you just install your M.2 SSD here, screw it in there, and then it just plugs into a free PCI Express slot on your motherboard. Another little kind of neat accessory in there. You've got a bunch of SATA cables. We've got two, four, six, eight. We've got eight SATA cables included in the box. We've got our, uh, these are our header connections for the fan controller, which is another interesting addition on this ASUS board. Um, if I can open this up without breaking any of it. This allows you to expand the number of fan headers on the motherboard uh, by simply using this connection on that uh, to transfer. This allows you to control all the fan speeds and monitor all that information in the UEFI. Uh, so you get you, what do you got? Four different fan headers on here as well and one Molex adapter or one Molex connection to kind of add some extra power to all that. Uh, otherwise, you've got your, you've got some temperature probes here. You've got your back panel for your case. Uh, you've got some USB and front panel connection adapters that make it super easy to connect those things. Uh, you've got some screws for various accessories, and then of course you've got, ooh, look at that, another sticker. Now you got two stickers for your new system. X99 Deluxe manual, a lot of good information there. Uh, so <laughs> what we have here is essentially the beginnings of what I think most people would consider the fastest enthusiast platform you buy. You've got an X99 motherboard, uh, in particular the Asus X99 Deluxe, support for lots of graphics cards, lots of memory, and of course, You've got support for the highest end Core i7-5960X 8-core processor here. You have uh, an Intel SSD 730 series 240 gig drive. Connect that to any of those 10 SATA ports and you're good to go. And then 16 gigs of DDR4 2133 memory. Um, it's pretty awesome stuff. We have reviews of basically all of these components at PCPer.com. The X99 Deluxe motherboard from ASUS, the 5960X processor from Intel. Uh, Alan, quite a while ago, has reviewed the SSD 730 series, a great SSD. And we have lots of stories coming involving DDR4 memory as well. So uh, thank you guys for checking out this video. Uh, we're going to see if we can maybe do something interesting with this tower now uh, that the presentation has been completed. For more information, be sure to visit the Pro Performance website at inte.ly slash unbox.